evening viewer welcome to our glory club to hear some breaking news yes when sahara thinks back to her life before the summer of 2021 it seems like another reality as a student in afghanistan she had lots of friends we are happy together she recalled we are studying sometimes we are gathering together we are riding bikes Zahra, 20 years old, does not ride bikes anymore or go to school or walk outside without covering her face or see friends who have fled the country. All she can do, she says, is sit at home and worry about a future that has unraveled before her eyes. When I stand in front of the mirror, when I look at myself, I just see a different Zahra from two years ago. She said, I feel sad. for my past twist marks the two year anniversary of kabul falling to the taliban which seized control of afghanistan amid the united states chaotic controversial withdrawal from the country after nearly 20 years of fighting the taliban which is not recognized by most countries around the world has declared tuesday a national holiday the day is full of honor and pride for afghans taliban deputy spokesperson bilai karmi told cnn Afghanistan was freed from occupation Afghans who were able to regain their country freedom government and will the only way to solve the problem is understanding and dialogue pressure and force are not logical he added but celebrating is the last thing may afghan women like zara who told cnn in identifying by her first name only for safety reasons want to do as life under taliban rule becomes increasingly repressive and brutal and activists warn things may only get worse as the world looks away patiqued with afghans decades long wars and too preoccupied with their own domestic issues all the while dwindling foreign aid means millions of afghans are battling drought hunger and illness in a crisis that united nations human rights experts said this week is growing worse There is no such thing as women's freedom anymore," said Mehbooba Siraj, an Afghan women's rights activist and 2023 Nobel Peace Prize nominee. The women in Afghanistan are being slowly erased from society, from life, from everything. Their options, their voices, what they think, where they are. When the Taliban, a radical Islamist group that had previously ruled Afghanistan in the 1990s, took power in 2021, it initially presented itself as a more moderate version of its former self, even promising that women would be allowed to continue their education up to university. But it has since cracked down instead, closing secondary schools for girls, banning women for attending university and working at NGOs, including the United Nations, restricting think they are travel without a male chaperon and banning them from public spaces such as parks and gyms women can no longer work in most sectors and were dealt yet another blow last month when the taliban closed all beauty salons across the country the industry had employed roughly 60000 women many of them the sole breadwinners for their household spelling more trouble as families already struggling to get by for young women like zahra the abrupt appending of daily life feels particularly devastating as they come of age and develop dreams for their future she enjoyed arts and had wanted to be a designer or to start her own business none of which feels possible in afghanistan anymore i am 20 years old and it is time for me to study to get educated she said but i am not allowed i am just in my house i am just worrying about my future my sisters and i am worrying about the future of all women of afghanistan bien the report glory globe tv delhi india